Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to my Scythe practice game. Scythe is an incredible real-life board game, one of the top rateds of all time. It is gorgeous to look at, it has an incredibly interesting theme, and the strategy is second to none. There's a reason it's so well regarded. I've done a video for it once on the channel. I've never played it in real life yet, but I am gonna finally get to play it against a non-AI next week. You see, with all this COVID-19 stuff, my regular board game group, we meet every week for D&D or board games, we're doing it digitally. Uh, right now. So we've done it a few weeks in a row and next week we're going to be playing Scythe and I have not played in a thousand million years. Luckily they haven't really played much either. So, uh, you know, we'll be on relatively even footing hopefully. But I thought, hey, let's do a practice match and let's go ahead and record it. Um, as far as I know, it's available. It's on, I know it's on Steam. I think it's available on many phones and different things like that as well. So um, we'll, we'll explain some of the basics as we go. So if you haven't seen this game before, don't worry about it. I'll be playing without the expansion. Um, loaded in because I don't think we're going to be using the expansion when we play next week and there's going to be four of us so I'm going to be playing a four player game here against three hard bots. The bots are not brilliant. I have beaten them before and given the fact that I don't have a lot of experience in this game, um that's probably, you know, a sign that they're not they're not death machines. However, you should probably still expect us to lose in this video because I Really don't know that much about this game. Oh, I've never played as the Nordics before. That's going to be interesting. Workers may move across rivers. No kidding. Is that the Nordic ability? Interesting. Okay, we're going to talk about lots of this stuff in a second. The introduction to this is beautiful. Oh, this game has really excellent music. Um, and it breaks my heart that I have muted the music in this game. Just because things have been really crappy on YouTube lately. Like, I'll put up one gaming video, and like 12 different companies will claim the background music from the in game, like the music, the game music. I know it's weird. So, we're just gonna have to be pretty aggressive about muting music in our games, and it. It really breaks my heart for this one. It's really, 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 really lovely. I don't know. It might be on Spotify or something if you can if you can listen. Otherwise, I don't want to just buy the game. Let it run in the background. It'll be swell. Okay. So we've got kind of a hex board over here. The goal of the game is to get the most points at the end. Shocker. Um, the points are represented by coins. Coins are both currency that you can acquire as well as spend for various things. I got seven bucks right now. If we click here, we can actually see what everyone's deal is. I actually started with the most coins. Hooray. Um, I think... I'm not sure. I'd have to, I'm going to have to read the manual again. I think you might get bonus coins depending on player order or something like that. Um, so coins are points, but the thing is, you're not. most of your points aren't going to be from coins themselves. It's at the end of the game for each territory you control. That's worth some bonus coins slash points. Um, for each star you've accomplished, that'll give you some extra coins slash points, etc., etc., etc. The game ends as soon as someone achieves a sixth star. It ends instantly. Even if it was the first player, it ends instantly, so no one else you know gets any more. So you've got to be paying really close attention to these stars. There are ten different ways to achieve stars in the game. Um, I think 10 is correct. Well, that's, f yeah, but you can, you can earn, um, you can earn two from the uh, combat victories. I guess that's it. There's up to 10 stars up for grabs, but six is the max you can, um, all, ever get. Now, stars are worth points at the end of the game, so there's a good chance the person with the most stars will win, but it's certainly not guaranteed. You could end the game by hitting the sixth star, but someone else might have more points at the end. You may know that and decide, you know what, I gotta end it now anyway, because right now I'm in second, and if the game goes on another turn, I might end up in third. Like, you, you might have that kind of sense of desperation. All right, so the incredible amount of replayability in strategic depth of this game comes from a combination of two really interesting factors. Your actual faction that you're playing, so your nation that you're playing, so I'm playing as the Nordics over here, You every faction starts basically with a little sort of peninsula wrapped by a river, right? So you got sort of your starting area. And what resources there, there impact how your faction feels. So as the Nordics, um, we have access to wood, oil, and metal. I think Nordics are the only faction that don't start with a village, which gives you extra workers. Where if you compare over here to the Rus of Yet, they have access to metal, oil, and a village, which generates extra workers there. So a little bit of a different start. In addition to that, your board down below um, is is also randomized. Uh, there's, I think there's six different boards or something. I don't know. You pick one at random. So you get a random nation and a random board. And all the actions on the board are the same for everyone. Like what the actions are, are the same for everyone, except they're shuffled around. So the bottom part is static, okay? So this left bottom part is always going to be um, your upgrades. Then it's going to be build mechs. This is building buildings. And this is uh, recruiting. Um, all the actions on the bottom have a cost of resources and then give you some sort of benefit. Um, although the, the, the actions and what they are is the same on every card, their costs 
and how cheap they can get varies. For example, we start as the Nordics here with our upgrades only costing two oil. Most of the other cards uh, will cost more than that, um, but we can never make it any cheaper. Where if you compare, if you look here to build a mech, it costs us a four metal, but we can upgrade this to also bring it down to a cost of two. Ditto with the building, it's four wood, but we can upgrade it down to a cost of two. Um, and here, and I must be on the, yeah, I'm on the agricultural board. That makes sense. Um, I can get my uh, recruit cost down to only a single food. We're agricultural. We, you know, presumably we're we're sort of producing more food in the background. Uh, we don't. We, I mean, we don't have any early food production, but everything is cheaper for for getting this. Not only can we get this to be the cheapest as possible, but it also gives us the most coins. So for us, recruiting gives us three coins. Building gives us two. Upgrading gives us one, and we get no coins whatsoever for building a mech, which is also fairly expensive for us. Different vibe for different people. Um, all right, let's look at this opener real quick. So what you're really trying to do early on is you're trying to get to the point where you're playing the bottom part of a card as early as possible. For us, if we just happen to produce twice, right? So I've got workers, workers on a tile produce resources. So my, I got one worker over here, I've got an oil over here. So if I were to produce, which is this action here, I could choose up to two tiles to produce on. So this one and this one, and they would produce a number of resources equal to the number of workers on each. So they'd produce one each right now. So if I produced twice in a row uh, or twice, I would end up with two oil and two wood. Um, the wood wouldn't be enough to do anything, but the oil would be, um, which is which is kind of spiffy do. The thing is, you can't do the same action twice, which leads to a lot of strategy. Unless you're the the, the rest of it, in which case you're totally allowed to do that. Uh, it, it, they feel very different to play compared to the others. Still, I think starting with a produce is probably correct. I think I'm going to produce. Um, I might consider trading. Maybe for oil, because if I trade for two oil, like as my second action, trade for two oil. Um, and then produce, and then hold on, how am I going to get where I want to be? Unless, okay, I could produce, which would give me one oil, one food. Second turn, I could trade over here for two more, sorry, one oil, one wood is what we're getting. Second turn, I could trade for two more wood. Third turn, I could produce the oil and another wood, which would give me four wood in total, which would mean that on the turn where I do that second production, I could actually use the bottom of this card and build a building. I don't know if that's worthwhile. On the other hand, if I produce, move, produce, and then move again, uh, the second move could be to move my hero into this village or into this mountains, which has an encounter token, which is an event that will make choose things. See, I don't like any of these things. I have to remember, though, that my villagers can move across the water. Which is very different. I could do something really weird. I could move to move this guy over here to the oil, move my hero like forward. Second turn, produce, which would need two oil. Third turn, move a second time, which would let me start an upgrade. I suspect that's not a very standard opener, though. And while my workers can work acro walk across the river, my hero can't. Although we'll be able to get that when we get our mechs, we can get river walking so we can make some crossing. What actually is my river walking in here? Forest or mountains? Okay. So forest and mountains are crossable, so my mechs will be able to walk across to here to start off with. From, from, well, so only from here, basically. That's yeah, not very good. I guess that's why your workers are so flexible, though. I don't know, I kind of like the idea of just starting the upgrade train right away. I also want to get some pops. Where's my closest village? Oh, it's over here. Unless I start with a move to move you across the river. Then next turn, produce, which should produce an oil and extra pops. Next a turn after that, I don't know, maybe move again for my dude here. We're going to need a mech, I think, with a speed bonus somewhere in there. Hmm. I think we're going to end up trading twice for metal. God, and the river crossing. Holy shit, how are we going to do that? I don't know what the right start is for these guys. All right, I'm just going to start picking something. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Um, I'm just going to produce. They're producing, they're producing. You can see, producing on first turn is fairly common. God, you're already, oh, you started. You built your first mech already. 
That's nuts. I think Saxony's board. I don't think their mech is that expensive, and they start with the metal right away. Uh, all right, so I can't produce a second time, which is fine-ish. Um, I think I will move now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy, and I'm going to move him across here. I'm not going to bring the wood with me. I, that is an option when you any of your units can carry resources with them. Um, I'm going to leave the wood behind. It'll actually give me a warning about it. I'm going to say, yeah, no, no, that's totally okay. Because what I'm actually doing is my second move, I'm just going to move my hero here, and they can escort the wood around somewhere. I can't do the bottom of this card, so I chose the top of it. I can't do the bottom because I don't have any oil, or enough oil, I should say. So we're just going to go ahead and turn. So yeah, I think there's a lot more... Well, there was some movement over here uh, with Polonia, which kind of makes a little bit of sense, because Polonia gets... When they run an encounter, they could choose two of the options from the encounter, which is really good. They might be prioritizing getting that a little sooner. But everyone else, I think, uh, ended up being like a produce trade and another produce. Yeah, because you've produced pops twice over here. And I think you... Well, you got... No, oh, you got the production there twice. Oh, right, this is Rusviet. The, all, they can run the same action twice in a row, so they just went produce, produce. Although, I think over here... It was a, maybe a produced trade, and one of their one of those two actions um, had the uh, the mech building ability on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to produce now again. I'm going to produce here, which will give me extra worker. I'm going to produce here, which will give me an extra oil. We don't have enough wood to play the bottom of the card, but that's okay. We do have enough oil to do an upgrade now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the move action move two units um i'm gonna move you to um do i actually care oh i can't cross the river yet so you all move here oh no i do actually want to bring the resources with me thank you game so we're gonna move here um and then this fella over here hmm we could just stay on the oil we could also just start producing food but we might I think I'll stay on the oil, because we might actually go for a few more rounds of production. So do I actually want to move anyone else? No, I think that's it, actually. Semi-wasteful, but we get to do the bottom. All right, so here's our first event. What I love about this is there's no there's no flavor text for the event itself. You look at the picture, you see what's going on. All right, so we've got some soldiers here uh, crossing into a town. There's some boar all over the place. Maybe it's a market day. I don't know. We've got some villagers watching. we got a big battle mech in the background. So... We can shoot a wild boar for a lunch of bacon, which would give me two food and popularity. I could herd the boars away from town. I would pay $2. Um, I've got seven. I would gain any three resources. Whew. All right. Alternatively, I could steer the boars into the helpless village. Pay two popularity to gain a worker and some wood. So it's usually like that. The first option is usually one that gives you popularity and maybe a little something. Second one is pay to get a bunch of stuff. And the third one is, sorry, it's pay money and then pay popularity. I think all the cards are more or less structured this way. Um, okay, here we go. You can hide it. Excellent. I was wondering about that. So pay two is something that's conceivable for us. Any three resources. That is interesting. If we went and grabbed a couple more oil, potentially all the oil, um... We could just still leave one, leave one person over here to sort of bring in a trickle, because we need a few more, but um, that could get us most of the way to just having all the oil we ever need going forward. And that's not too shabby. And I'm up, I, I, I want to do the upgrades early, because it's not like I can make this any cheaper, and I can make everything else cheaper. I think I'm just going to do that. I'm going to pay. We're going to need three oil. Um, I'm, it doesn't matter where it is. I'm going to leave it with my hero, because at least my hero can kind of defend things. So we'll drop some oil over there. We will then go ahead and do some upgrading. So I will pay two oil. I'll grab it off this guy. Um, again, I could have grabbed it anywhere. I could have grabbed one from here, one from somewhere else. And what I'm going to do now is... So the way these upgrades work is basically at the top here, um, a bunch of these in real life in the board game would be covered in cubes. So for example, right now, when I take the move action, I can move two units. There's If I take this cube off of here, that will reveal a third move icon. So then when I do a move, I can move three different units instead of only two. Then this cube that I take off of here, I'm going to place on one of the squares over here to cover up a cost and make things cheaper. Um, should I? Hold on. Change of plans. Oh, no, it's too late. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, we didn't move here. So it's like, maybe I should have, from the event, maybe I should have grabbed the um, 
the metal. Because then I could have upgraded the mech to be only cost three. Um, and then spent it, uh, well, next turn. Yeah. So we're still in a position to deploy three... I don't think it really matters which one of these I necessarily unlock right this second. Um, I'll unlock the just the more movement options. And I think we will go and where do I get where can I get metal? Way over here. Oof. Yeah, I should probably trade for it. On the other hand, I can get the mechs down to two. I can trade one gold for two of any resource. I could trade for two metal and then buy a mech every turn if I do this. Maybe we don't care about actually mining the mech stuff. That would be interesting. Okay. So they're doing a move. They're doing a move and triggering an event. They've built the building. So there are buildings you can build. In addition to that, every game there's a random structure bonus. Here it's number of... Okay, so number of farm or tundra tiles that have a building on them. So farms produce food, tundra produce oil. So you can see farm, 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 uh, oil, oil. So... We get bonus points at the end of the game if we build, if we have buildings on those things. Now, what am I doing this turn? Um, I think we're doing another produce, so we can finish up the number of pops we need. I think it's going to be produce, then it's going to be um, some sort of movement upgrade to bring this cost down, and then we might start the trade thing to unlock all of our mechs. All right, so now we're going up to five meeples, which means now when I do the produce, it will cost me one power every time. We're going to get an extra oil over here, because we can. Uh, we don't have enough wood for a structure. That's okay. He just produced a crap ton of oil, so he's going to do a bunch of upgrading. He produced. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to take the move upgrade. Now, I mean, we are going to need more oil. I was going to say move them onto the wood, though. Normally, I'd like to move these guys off of the mech, but we're not really positioned to do that. Hmm. Yeah, we're still going to do the metal thing, I think. Um, I think we want to be at a position where we can start producing food. Now, these guys aren't going to be guarded, which means anyone can basically walk onto them and force them back to my home. They will lose popularity for taking that hit, though. If I do this, one produce will give us enough food for a job. Um, I mean, we'd like to make it cheaper. Thing is, I might also increase the production, in which case I want to make sure we've got three places we can produce with stuff I want. So we'll go with something like that. Take that last barrel, take this barrel. Um, yeah, we're going to go for the triple production, and then bring down the deploy cost to nothing. Well, not to nothing, but as low as it gets. Yeah, he built that windmill on, um, on a tundra, which is bonus points. Now, what are my bonus objectives? I can only complete one of these two. Have at least five workers on a territory adjacent to the factory, or have one factory card, at least one mech, and no more than three workers. Um, I don't know if any of these are going to happen. Which, I mean, is fine. Um, yeah, I'm going to do the trade here. So, I'm going to pay one gold to get two metal. Uh, it doesn't matter where I put it, because I'm going to spend it immediately. One, two metal to deploy a mech. So, I think I think we have to get Riverwalk. So, every um, nation has four mechs. Um, they start, they cover these little symbols, basically, in the real-life board game. So, you grab one of the mechs from off of this, and it enables that ability. Uh, so, Riverwalk allows my mechs and my hero to walk across rivers to and from, like, mountains and forests. Um... So, my hero will be able to walk from here to there, for example. Um, what I think is going to happen... Well, 
about speed as well. Um, I'm going to put you here, because I think we'll want to move... I don't know. There's there's lots of things. Wow, yeah, you're producing all your oil. You're getting all your upgrades just hammered through. Maybe I should have taken the speed first for this one, actually. Because I could have put you there. Uh, that might have been a good idea. I don't know. Um, I still have two oil. Yeah, so we are going to do a move. And you over here... You can cross out, which we're going to do. What about the resource situation? Um, wait, is it the move I want? Hold on. You can't undo while it's going, which is where you have to finish it and then do the undo. Actually, no, I want to do a round of production. Actually, I'll probably produce and then go and trade for another mech to get the plus one speed. And then start moving them. Kind of like that. <laughs> uh... Yeah, no, I still like this. I'm going to trade for a couple of metal. We'll use the metal right away to uh, develop a speed mech. So th when I do a three move, I can use one move to move him into a top of the mech so that they can move together, which is fine. Um, yeah, I'll put you here because I can carry you out to this one. And it kind of comes out to the same. Because now my mechs can move a distance of two, and that includes my hero as well. And they can cross certain river places. Which I think, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do. I want you to go there. Actually, what I might do, rather than go for more wood... Yeah, I like this. I'm going to grab you. I'm going to pick up the person and the wood. We're going to move to here. And my hero... Oh, can't quite reach there. Really? Oh, because you can't cross the river there. Oh, that is really awkward. What I can do is go here. I could move... I could bop him out of the position. I would lose a popularity for bopping him, but it could still slow things down. Um, and if I do that... I will get in a position where I can take this encounter token. I think I'm... Uh, this. Oh, this leaves this undefended. Although I can bring everything with me. Um, not that I have much in the way of military. If these guys want to counterattack and then we leave the stuff behind. Maybe that's a poor idea. Unless I just move to here so I can get this encounter. Actually, she doesn't have a mech. She can't attack me here. I'll move to here, and then I'll be ready to snag that. But yeah, bring these resources with me. Well, it's not so bad, because I'm going to spend the oil right away. So really, we're only semi-risking the uh, the wood. So I'll spend those two. Um, we are going to take the... So i got to take a top icon. Uh, I'm going to grab this top bolster. And also discount this. Because I want to be spamming this a lot for the extra gold. In fact, even after I complete all my recruits, I may still spam this for extra money. Because it's three victory points per, right? Okay. So I can't move. I could trade, get another mech. Uh, max out max does give you a star, so there's some value in that. Um, I could bolster food, because I actually have enough. It'll get cheaper later, but I think I kind of like that idea. Bolster, giving us three more military power. And we'll go ahead and enlist. So, eat two food. 
So what we're doing with enlisting here is we're going to go and activate some sort of power here. When, what this means is every time we or the player, either player adjacent to us, does an upgrade or deploy or build or an enlist, I get a bonus. Um, so part of it is, I don't actually know how to look at someone else's board. Um, okay, so my neighbors are the red and, yeah, so the white and the red are my two neighbors. And we can see what they've done. So neither one of them has done much in the way of mech. So I could go and do this. And I'm potentially going to build two more mechs, so I might get the biggest value. Um, I haven't built yet. Neither has red. Poland's got two. We know we're going to do some building, so that might be a thing. But the enlist here, Poland's done two. I'm doing my first one. They haven't done any. It gives me battle cards. I think I kind of like the idea of doing this. And then um, when you recruit as well, you get to um, to get an immediate bonus. I think the immediate bonus that I'm going to go for is actually going to be battle cards, because I don't have any in my hand, and it makes me feel very uneasy right now. Okay, so our battle cards are, are listed here. I've got two that are worth two, ones that's worth three. There are also point, ones that are worth four and five. They're rarer. It is a little unfortunate we don't have one, but what can you do? Okay, so that's the end of my turn. Red's got quite a bit of coins right now, but... I mean, more than me, but it's not terribly meaningful. There's Poland doing its stuff. Okay. Now, do I want to move? I mean, I want to get the encounter, but I'm not I'm not sure that's actually the best thing for us. Uh, although, it would let me do an upgrade, but I think I only have... I only have one oil. So, if we produce... Now, we can... Theoretically, we can produce in three different areas, but we only have workers in two. Still, that's actually not a bad little production. We're not going to be able to use the bottom of the card. Unless I just want to buy a mech right now. Like, trade to get another mech. Could unlock some more mech abilities. Seaworthy, so yeah, I can move into lakes. Artillery before combat. If you pay one power, opponent loses two power. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. Pay this, which should give me enough to... I next. If I produce this turn, next turn I can move and tech. And potentially bring this cost all the way down. Because actually, we'll have all the grain we'll need. Yeah, if I produce now. Three grain, assuming this gets upgraded, is all I ever really need. And that might be my next two turns then. All right, she's moving out, getting an encounter there. Enlisting, all right. Oh, which gave me a military card. Uh, I think that was the action. It hasn't updated here yet, but I'm pretty sure. Because I've got this. Yeah, I should have an extra military card. Uh, there it is. And in fact, it's level four, which is really nice. Um, I wonder if we can take this person. Or even this spot. Okay, hold on. Because this is three oil. Now, this is Saxony. Saxony, because that's, yeah, the yellow dude. You have five military, you've got five cards. But that would be a pretty huge get. Um, the problem is, I'm going to have to choose if I'm leaving the, the stuff behind or not. Ideally, I'd like to have all my workers and all my stuff over here, but, you know, we could lose. Um, although, okay, hold on. You can come here. This will enable me to play two cards. Okay, I think I like that. Um, oops. Yeah, we're going to pick up. I was going to go for the event, but we're going to pick up over here. Um, I'm going to grab all my workers and all my loot and bring them over here. And then from this, ah, it was tempting to do maybe another boop here. Um, we could just sit here for a produce metal. Three is an awkward number, but... Or I could just go and we could double up on the wood production and basically have all the wood we're going to need. We'd kind of like to move out, but we're not really in a position for that. Okay, let me do this. All right, we're going to do a battle. So Saxony here could theoretically have up to 10. They might not spend that much. 
Um, but I'm pretty eager to go kind of okay. I'm gonna go to 10, remember we win ties. I'll leave me with a little power left over, a couple of crappy cards. There we go. He spent it all, all five of his power and a five point card over here. Um, and But we won while burning his card. So it's gonna send him back home. Any resources that we were there are still there. Uh, we're gonna upgrade. Um, we are clearly, um, I don't know how when I produce to do that, I could, I don't know how much it matters which one of these two I do in order. Although, you know what, because we've got the building here, actually both my neighbors have it as well. So when I do this, they'll all get cards. But I could get military power, which I might need. Yeah, I think we are... Okay, well, first I've got to pay for it. Um, i got to upgrade one of the top bits. I'm not sure. I mean, that's, that's a great way to get some extra popularity, which we're going to want at some point. But we're still going to be running the top trade here if we're going to do mechs first. Uh... Okay, let's have this for the option of, well, we're going to do it at some point. Nah, I don't know, whatever. And we're going to bring in list down. Yeah, because I'm going to, I want to bolster, bolster next time. So we'll upgrade you. Because so we've got the grain. Although at some point we definitely need to get some buildings happening. Uh, we can probably jump on these guys too, although not, not right now, not if I'm doing this. So I'll grab military power. Yeah, we need some extra in the bank. So we'll spend a coin to get three military power. And then we will enlist, spending a single grain. We know we're going to go do these build actions and relatively soon. Although we are going to upgrade first. And for now, give me give me the military power. Okay. I mean, we're feeling fairly um, secure. The problem is, I don't think I'm doing very efficient moves for just gaining economy and points. Yeah, so you still snag that, which displeases me greatly. Grab everything. I'm just gonna go and oh, I can't cross there. Oh shit! Right, because I can cross into the woods, but not out of. Ew. All right, well, that's fine. You can come over here. We'll drop off everything, and then we'll start. I'm gonna move you all the way to one of these. Maybe over here. Sort of cut it off from there. I want to get some of these events move you here um, and I can do one more movement um, grain wise right we still have all the grain we're gonna need actually this might be a good time to just move oh I think I've got to move my character to the factory uh, what I'm gonna do is I still have enough oil do I really need to move people not really but I might move you here to knock you out and steal the oil. Although if I want to build a building on the tundra, and I kind of do, I, I think I need to bring one person with me. I think there needs to be a worker. So we'll do this. Bop you out, which actually lowers my popularity. We did get an event for moving my person. Uh, all right. So we're watching a samurai and her monkey. Befriend the samurai. Gain $2 in popularity. Learn how to fight. Pay two. Gain two power and two combat cards. Spy on foreign mechs to learn new technology. Pay two popularity to gain one upgrade and two food. Um, we only have two more upgrades to go. We have all the oil we need for that. So, no. So, this nets me two victory points. This costs me two victory points. Popularity is also victory points in the end. Um, we'll talk about that in a bit. I think we're going to do this. We have a good amount of power and some cards as well. I think we can just go ahead and do this and try to move us 
you know, into a better position going forward. We are going to pay, uh, you know, we're going to do this. Um, here, I'll eat that one oil and that one. Um, and we are going to I'm just do this one and that. And then turn. So, how are the stars? You got two. Polonia doesn't have any yet. You know, maybe we can establish a human shield for a star. We'll see. Now, what do I want to do this turn? Um, I would still like to wait for this to be fully discounted before we, we go for it. Which is fine. We can either develop a mech, or we can develop our military, and also... Um, the, the sooner we recruit, the better, because there's chances we'll get more bonuses. I kind of like that. Um, probably we're just going to go for power. If we do hit max power, which is 16, we get a star. So we actually might just aim towards that. And we'll pay this food. And we will... Um, I'll do this one for the popularity. And we'll take the popularity. In turn. Still got to visit that factory. Factory's got a unique bonus thingy that happens. Also, if we can control the factory at the end of the game, we'd be pretty happy. Maybe that's what we do our human shield with. Haha. <laughs> So I think what I want to do here is I do want to move so that we can do our last upgrade. Um, I want to move you to another event. Let's see what it'll do. Um, you, right, for, for maybe a building. I actually don't know how much else we might move anyone. No, we got to move. I didn't need the oil. Unless I just leave the worker there. Actually, I kind of like that idea. I can leave the worker there. I go and steal some things here, but I'm actually wondering about just sitting in the factory just to make it more difficult for someone else to get there. Or I could go here. They'd be able to defend with two cards because they have two guys. And it's not like I need the oil or the food, but, you know, disrupting other people is good. Uh, we also... Uh, we have one star for winning a combat. We definitely want to find ourselves winning another one at some point. As this worker doesn't really have to be protected because there's no resources there for them to take. They would just like they would displace them and then, um, you know, maybe I'll just like hang out here. I like that. And then he can move further, but I don't think I'm gonna. And you're definitely gonna stay and defend. Actually, you know what? Change of plans. You're gonna come here. We're just gonna double defend this spot. Because that actually is kind of important. Uh, we could still do another movement, but I'm not gonna. I can't move you again. So I will end the move. There's our card reveal. So, oh, it's some sort of fair. Enjoy an afternoon festival with the commoners, gaining money and popularity. Battle of Wits, pay two, gain two power, two popularity. Oh, now that's interesting. Or pay three popularity, gain any five resources. I mean, that's powerful. I think I'm gonna go with this one here. So, popularity. At the end of the game... Your stars, the amount of territory you control, and the amount of resources you control, or every two resources, are worth extra victory points. The amount of victory points they're worth depends on your popularity. So at the lowest level of popularity, each star is worth three points. At the highest, it's worth five. And the resources go from worth one for every two to three for every two, so tripling in value over there. Um, pretty substantial rise. So um, having high popularity is good. You also get a star if you hit 18, which is the peak. Uh, whether or not that happens, I don't know. But what we are going to do is we are going to go and grease ourselves up and complete the final upgrade. We got Arm to the Teeth as an achievement, which is completing all upgrades. Oh, it's 16 power. Oh, I got 16 power because of this. Excellent. Which is another star. So I completed all my upgrades, which is a star, and I got the 16 power, which is another star. Now, I can drop this down at this point. Once you've hit it, you don't have to keep it. Your star is locked in, which is kind of nice. And we've got lots of combat cards, including a 5 and a 4. Uh, we can definitely get another star there. And, you know, mostly just try to disrupt everyone else's game. So, uh, since it's our turn again, we're going to take a look at where the standings are. So the standings here. Score preview. So this is going to do a little calculation. Right now, if the game were to end this turn, we would win at 40 points. Um, but I could, that could certainly go quite a lot higher. But it's good to know that things are not awful right now. Which is very good to see. 
So now we can build buildings for two each. Uh, we haven't built a single building yet, so in the end we'll need we'll need um, eight food or eight wood. Um, this actually might be a good production turn. Well, no, because really all we'd be producing is wood and nothing else kind of going on. Um, although we can produce and then build, which is kind of nice. Can't really move. Um, it actually might not be a bad idea to just do a quick little trade for something. Like, trade for metal and build another mech. And then probably do it once again after that, which will get us another star. It'll give me a, a few more combat options. Um, again, I could deny them the oil. I don't need the oil, although it's worth victory points at the end. Well, I can't move right now. Never mind, I can't attack. Um, I have food. Um, not that I need more military cards. But... Or, yeah, I mean, I don't need more military power because I'm locked in. I don't really need more cards either, but actually, I think we're going to do this. We're going to spend our final food for our final enlist, getting us yet another star. We can end this real fast. Now, I would like to win another combat, because that's worth a star, plus it could really screw someone up. We can move this turn, so probably we're going to start a fight. We wouldn't mind burning away some of our military power, because why not? So yeah, let's assume we're going to do a move. There's no upgrades for us, so we're not going to be in the bottom, unfortunately. But, uh, and then someone did move into the factory, and I think it is time for us to go to the factory. Although, ooh, apparently I don't have enough movement for that. But, I could move here. I will lose three popularity from booping these guys, though. And I don't need the food, but this move is really weak. Well, no, I just want to build. I know it's kind of crummy, but maybe I will just do this. Do I even bother building the oil here? Because someone could just steal it pretty easily. Mm, I don't know. We'll do it anyway. All right. Um, so I want buildings on Tundra. So I'm on Tundra over here. It's the whole reason I'm there. Uh, I think what I might do is build the popularity building. So monument, whenever I bolster, which I am going to do some more of. Uh, even though the bottom... Well, I still get the gold. If I spend grain, I still get gold, which is still worthwhile. Um, construction. I mean, this is whenever you produce, you get extra resources. Trade. Whenever I trade, I also gain a power. Um, that actually wouldn't be bad. Fling it there. Because... Can trade for mechs, and I mean, I just spent the power as well. Still, again, I'm still locked in for that star. I'm probably going to move this turn, though. I guess I was going to move last turn. Yeah, I do want to get to the factory. Okay, I'm going to go in there try to win a combat. Um, I think I will throw a second one in there so I can use a second card. Although... Well, I could spend seven and a five-point card. Twelve is the most you can do with one person. Uh, I'm fighting Saxony. Um, they also have a ton of cards and uh, enough power to put in full seven. So I'm going to move a second guy in there. Do I want to move a worker as well? Possibly just so they can do something on this tundra. It's tundra and what? And farms. are we on wood? Uh, I've got four. And I do have three buildings to go if I want to do that. So I will need a little bit more wood. Um, only two more, though. But I don't want to leave these guys unguarded. Well, I don't want to leave my resources unguarded. But I could do that. Yeah, I'm kind of okay with it. Okay. So potentially they could throw as much as, um, as, as 12 in here. Trying to maybe save my... Uh, you know what? Let's let's go with a 4. There you go. 12 this way. I right, went for 11. That could have saved one point, but mostly I needed it. There's my second victory, so a second star from victory, which is all I can get. Saxony can get unlimited amounts, by the way. Um, 
Maximum reached. Although, dude, if I have two oil, and I do, I can still do this for a coin, and I may as well... Well, no, hold on. Every two oil, every two resources is going to worth be, be worth a certain number of points at the end, depending on my popularity. Right now, they'd only be two resources would only be worth a point. So trading two oil for a coin is break even. But if my popularity goes up, then having the oil is better. So... No, we're just going to end turn. Hmm. I do need to get at least seven popularity, though, for that second tier. Am I... Okay. And I, I can end the game whenever I want right now. Oh, actually, on my turn, I should check, A, can I end the game, and B, would I win if I did? I suspect the answer is yes to the second one. Can I end the game this turn? Um, I can't end it by buildings. Hmm. Where am I? This one over here. Uh, there's no, there's nothing to begin there. I'd need two more mechs to end it that way. Three more buildings. Um, an objective. Which, actually, I sort of moved away from if I want to do the objective here. Uh, or max out on meeples. So I can't end it this turn. Now, if I did, would I win? No. No, I would not. Polonia is in the lead, so I may want to see about specific... Oh, well, part of it is because the center building here counts as three victory... Or th counts as holding three victories. Uh, three territories, so it's very valuable. Um... What I might want to do is trade for a mech. Because then if I get another mech after, I can just finish this. I can also protect the oil over here for whatever that might be worth. And then you can come in there. You won't be able to reach, unfortunately. Although you can. We can just pile up in here. Uh, so I have to trade for the metal, right? I can't go for the popularity. Now that's too bad. But I think that's what we're going to do. Doesn't matter where I do it, because I'm going to spend it right away. Excellent. Um, move two from lakes. Uh, that's actually interesting, because then I actually could move directly there. Yeah, I'll take Seaworth. Um, we're going to deploy the mech here to protect that dude. But now my mechs and my hero can walk across lakes, which means I can get my hero into the factory. And hopefully hold the factory. Although, I gotta remember, the building does give me two coins as well, so. And I can just do that twice. So I can do that twice or finish the mechs. Um, yeah, but I do want to go, I, I, I want to grab the middle. So we're going to move three units. Um, I know I want to move my, my hero to here, so that I can actually claim the bonus. Um... I, I can't hit here. I would just lose too much popularity by attacking that. So that's a no-go. I don't actually need to hang out here anymore. So I should grab everything. Now I could send you to the middle, but what I might want to do is send you to a place where I might want to build a building. So like this tundra over here. Um, I could also go hit Saxony hard there. I'm not sure there's much point to it. I could hit Polonia here, but again, that's not going to do much for me. Well, this guy can move there, but he's going to hold that. We've got all the wood we need. No, you know, I think we do this. And here... Well, I don't even know if I need to move my people. Since I could drop off my people somewhere along the way. Um, territory adjacent to the factory. I mean, if we moved everyone, it might be possible to get there. I don't know. What I'll do is, I'll first I'll do here, I'll drop off all my meeples, and then I'll finish my move to here. Okay. So let's go. They could potentially uh, play up to 10. Assuming they have a 5-point card in here, they spent everything here on the 5-point card, they would get there. Likely that's not the case. Um, I think I'll probably do something like this, and there we go.
So I'm guaranteed to win, regardless of what they do. Yeah, they only spent one token point, so they get a card. It's very smart. I'm still happy we did that. So what we're doing here is we're picking an extra card. That's the factory card, and it's an extra place I can play an action. Uh, so I can get a mech or a building simply for spending a popularity here. Here I can spend an action card to get a free tech up and a power, but I'm capped on tech. Uh, here, spend one of any resource for a card and two military power. Spend um, a card for three coins, a card for two popularity. I think we want the popularity one, actually. You can see us doing that. And the bottom of the card is you move a single unit, but you can do a double move with it. Um, and then, right, I could still spend two oil to get a coin, but I think we're going to get more points if we just hold on to the oil. So I'll end turn. And now, because the place I hold is worth three territory, I think if we end the game now, let's double check. There's a chance we might win by one whole point, plus whatever might happen, like, by doing it. If I could actually close the game out right this second, then um, I would win. Um, where's my other worker? Oh, no, they're all here. Hang on. Can I? No, because I can't get there. As I say, although, oh wait, hold on. I can just build a mech, right? I can trade and, and build my final mech. Yes, okay. Because I was wondering if I could move to here, pick up this dude, and then move all the way there. But I'd actually have to move to here, and then I wouldn't have enough left over to do things. But I can just trade for a mech and win. It will cost me a coin, which reduces my points by one. But by completing the mech, I will get a star, which is going to be worth um, not much because I don't have a high level of, of popularity. I could get to eight popularity with each key by playing this. But no, I think this is going to be fine, unless I've miscalculated. Um, if I had metal, I'd just go for the popularity here, but I don't. So we're going to try to trade. I think I hope this is right. It um, doesn't matter where I do it because I'm going to spend it right away. Uh, so this is our final mech. We can have it appear wherever. I don't know, there. And that'll end the game, because someone has reached six stars. Did I understand what was happening correctly? Do I have the victory? You can see the multipliers. He's getting times five multiplier because of popularity. I'm only getting, uh, well, for that one, times three, and they were getting times four. It's different multipliers for different things. So, okay. Coins on hand. There we go, four points. Yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's the mech. That made the difference, and that, that, that was, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's correct. Ooh, I just got a bunch more achievements, probably from, like, first win with different people. Uh, Better Feared Than Love, The North Remembers, and, hold on, what was the last one? Where's that? Um, oh, Bread and Salt. Yeah, Bread and Salt. That's win a game with the agricultural mat. Better Feared Than Loved is win with six or less popularity. Um, and The North Remembers is win a game with the Nordic Kingdom. Nice. Excellent. Well, there you go. Um, a really, really lovely game. I'm feeling, I'm feeling pleased about a certain amount of uh, practice that uh, I'm getting here. I think at least I won't embarrass myself when I play with my friends next week, and that fills me with joy. Folks, thanks for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.